would you like to hear from Patricia Gaggio from uh, Fashion Magazine a little bit about ooh la la lingerie for Valentine's Day? Lingerie, <laughs> yes. I went to a beautiful store here uh, just at Ogilvy's called Collange, yes. where they only sell high-end lingerie. Now, I picked out three outfits for you, Valentine's Day outfits. Right. So you're saying uh, that sounds expensive, though. It sounds very expensive, but I'm going to show you how to recreate those looks at a fraction of the cost. I like that. So here's Collange, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're going to roll some of the footage here that we took. This is one of the first outfits you saw. Yes, uh, this is called a Merry Widow, and this is selling at Collage, actually. And it's uh, $400 for the bustier and $80 for the thong. It's called a Merry Widow, kind of a funny name, but it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, outfit. And I kind of think of it as the iconic sex, sex appeal weapon. Wow, that is... Amazing. Now look at this version. This is the same poppy red at La Senza, and it's only sixty dollars. Okay. So a fraction of, of the, the price. price. And I mean, I think red is lovely. The lace is lovely. Uh, the sheer. The sheer, and it's actually more comfortable than you'd think. Actually, it's very stretchy uh, lace and mesh, so it's not uh, so uncomfortable. Yeah. Do you think that the red is a really popular color this year, or do, do you think guys are more a fan of the black or the pink? Well, red is kind of the traditional Valentine's Day color, but I also like black. There's also pink. Magenta is also very hot, or a mix of black and magenta. Right. And then the other, the second outfit you saw, because I, I really, really loved this one. Yeah, this is a cute. This is for a woman that maybe isn't comfortable in lace, wants something a little more casual, but still very fun, very sexy. It's a camisole with a little boxer shorts. Okay. Little, there you go. And this is very cute. It has little tiny rosettes around the trim. Very cute. This is all 100% silk. And this set, they'll show the boxer shorts here, it actually is $295. It's by a company. $295. Company, yeah, $295. Company in Monaco called Mean We Do's. And they're a young fashion house known for their fun and flirty uh, clothes. Now, this is the Gap, the version from the Gap, for $25. And uh, it's not silk, but it's made from modal, which is a silky kind of cotton that doesn't shrink. And it also looks equally as comfortable. Equally as comfortable. And probably equally as soft. Equally as soft. And mm -hmm. the boxer shorts, you know, it's like, I, I think comfort is important. You want to be attractive, but comfortable. You want to be, and it's, you know, it's good for lounging around the chalet, if that's what you're doing. And very, very cute. Yeah. And the third outfit you found. The third outfit. Now, this one I chose, it's for the more uh, maybe demure woman. It's a little bit more modest. It's a very long nightgown with uh, a contrasting robe here. And uh, this outfit, if you buy the set, is actually $596. So you can see there's all a whole bunch of uh, nightgowns and robes that you can choose from. This one, all in pink. Uh, and it's for a woman that maybe, you know, doesn't want to put all her goods on the table, so to speak. <laughs> this one I found uh, at the Bay, and it's actually on sale for just over $100. Now, uh, it comes with, again... Very elegant. Very, very elegant. Very elegant. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nice, but doesn't show too much. Doesn't like show... Like you say, you don't put everything out on the table. Doesn't put everything on the table. And it actually has a little bit of lining under the lace, so yeah. it's not very revealing. And with that last one that you showed us, it's sort of something that doesn't have to be for any special occasion. It almost looks like something you could wear regularly. You could wear it all year. And I, I kind of think of it as investment shopping. So you buy it for Valentine's Day, wear it all year. Yeah. I have to ask you, though, because when it comes to lingerie shopping, right, every so often you're in the store and you see women who bring their guy into the lingerie store. Is that okay or not okay? Is it normal, not normal? I, I think that, you know, if you're shopping, I, first of all, I think if a man will go shopping with a woman, he's a keeper. <laughs> And if he can wait for your for his girlfriend and not complain, you know, you should marry that man. You should marry that man. But uh, no, it's not odd. And I think uh, stores, they're, they're used to having men come into the store now. And sometimes they'll put like, you know, GQ magazines on the couches there yes. so they have something to read so they don't get completely bored. But I think it's a, it can be a bonding experience. Do you find that men still go on their own to try and, uh, you know, buy a little something special? Yes. Actually, I spoke to the manager at uh, Collange and she said, you know, men are more savvy now. They know how to shop for the women. They come and they have it written down, you know, my wife is this size and, you know, panty and this size bra. Do they do their research. They do their research. They don't just come in anymore and say, well, she's kind of medium all over. <laughs> so, you know, and if you don't know your wife or girlfriend's size, you know, I suggest talking to your, to her girlfriend or her sister yeah. or buy a gift Why certificate. Not? Always lovely to speak to you. Patricia Gaggio from Fashion Magazine. Thank you for being with us.